Pakistani High Court rules that blasphemy law does not apply to dreams. So I sent Armin a, a, a quote from this article a few days ago with just the caption, the utter state of Pakistan. Okay, so let's get into this. <laughs> Recently, the Lahore High Court declared that individuals cannot be prosecuted under blasphemy law for what they see in their dreams or for sharing their thoughts, visions, and emotions with others during those times. Judge Justice Tariq Salim Sheikh declared that the first information report by the Sadar uh, police station of uh, Mianwali against the petitioner invalid. According to the complainant, the petitioners claimed that he could fly and see Allah and various companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad in his dreams could hurt the religious feelings of the Muslim community. The council said that the petitioner is only accused of telling a group of people about his dreams where he saw God and some holy figures, and that such narration is not an offense under Section 295A of the Pakistani Penal Code, one of the aspects of the law that criminalizes blasphemy. So let me let me give the full context. So a few years in like 2021, there was a dude who was telling people that he had dreams in which he could see Allah and fly and that he could see some of the Sahaba, some of the companions of the prophet. And there was a man who was a retired police officer who then went and filed an FIR, which is a form of police report against this man. And the FIR didn't even like really give clear details about like what the, what he was saying. There were like some conflicting things with witnesses. And ultimately the complaint was that this guy going around and saying this is blasphemy. This is blasphemous and that this has the potential to offend the religious sentiments of Muslims. And... <sighs> This is just, this is just kind of funny to me because last week, I believe it was, we have Pakistani Defense Force here in the live chat. And at some point I referenced Pakistan having a blasphemy culture. And he responded very strongly to that. I mean, like, what the hell do you mean a blasphemy culture? What I mean by a blasphemy culture is that most countries in the world never have to have a court case to decide if your dreams are blasphemous. Most people never have to have this conversation. Most countries never have to make a legal decision about if talking about your weird ass dreams is a crime <laughs> because it offends the religion sentiments of Muslims. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the way, before you even mentioned him, it was... To consider this. Yeah. Most countries never even think about prioritizing this. So this is the type of thing I'm referring to when I say that Pakistan has a blasphemy culture, that this is a priority that needs to be addressed. This is something that the law needs to have a ruling on. Are your dreams blasphemous? Can you be charged with a crime for telling people about some weird religious dream that you had? And yeah, so that was the context of this whole thing. I was like, this is what we're dealing with. Pakistani Defense Force gets really triggered every time we speak about Pakistan. He tries to uh, come up with something mean to say. He He's really triggered by you and me when we talk about Pakistan. So um, don't worry about his... He He's so desperate in making it, coming up with something to say. Like every time you have something factual uh, that is true about Pakistan and you say it just for... Uh, reporting the news that actually is true, he he loses it. And he's like, how could I say something to trigger this person because I am so butthurt and I'm so upset and so sad. And I, instead of saying something, look at, look at, this is a I response, I want to read this right? comment. 
He's yeah. saying, Man, of, you sound like it, a clown. Blasphemy cases are very rare considering the population size. Even considering so the fact that Pakistan is an extremely populous country, even considering that, it empirically, it yeah. happens more commonly in Pakistan than, than any other else. country in the world. It's number one it in the world. Significantly, it increased significantly over the past two years during the pandemic by multiples. <laughs> like since the foundation of Pakistan as a country, there have been almost 100 cases of people being lynched for blasphemy per capita. Yeah. That is more than <laughs> any other like country. any other case of countries where this has been documented. Yeah. The, so yes, the I will consider even comparison to the, other crimes in Pakistan. But, in considering other crimes in Pakistan, this is still very rare. But in terms of a blasphemy case, this happens more than any other country. You cannot deny that fact. There are studies behind this. Um, there what 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 makes Pakistani Defense Forces comment very idiotic is that he compares the number of people that get accused of blasphemy compared to the population size right if this was your standard no country has a blasphemy problem okay like do you understand how moronic that is because i could do that with uh you know rape stats all right i could be like look at i could find a country that has the highest number of rape and be like well does it have an RAP, RAPE problem? Because if you look at the total number of people who have been RAPE and you divide that by the population, then that's a very insignificant number. So this country doesn't have an RAPE number. I could talk, I could tell you about the highest, the number one way um, of dying not unnaturally that is a disaster in every country is car accidents, right? But I could act like that's a, not a big deal either because I could div divide the number of people who die from car accidents based on the total population of the country. Or like, oh, look, it's less than even 1% of the po entire population of the country. Why are you so concerned about something that is less than 1%? I, this is so moronic that I don't even understand why Pakistani Defense Force keeps acting like he's an intellectual, um, you know, somebody that has much value to add here when these are his takes and i keep trying to be go easy on him but his takes are so moronic that i can't i can't just stop myself um yeah. and also an example sufra yeah. bibi was lynched for blaspheming in a dream in yes. a dream yes um also Wait. we have to Pakistan, you know, sorry. Let me, let, no, yeah. for, okay. hmm. go ahead He's saying proportionally Iran has more blasphemy cases than Pakistan. Is a comparison to Iran really helping your case? Oh my god. That's who you want to compare to? Iran. So actually, so with with Iran, you can actually find the proper numbers, right? Because a lot of the blasphemy cases in Iran are actually so I don't this is not in favor of Iran, okay? Because Iran does have way way higher death sentences than pakistan i agree that iran is far behind when it comes to human rights on pakistan far behind but it just doesn't get categorized under blasphemy charges because they are political in nature right when it comes to actually blasphemy uh, blasphemy cases so here's here's how iran is even when it comes to blasphemy uh, the number of blasphemy cases in pakistan are higher than iran but the number of blasphemy executions are higher in Iran than Pakistan because the number of blasphemy executions in, in Pakistan are zero, right? People are put on death row, but the executions don't, don't actually take place, right? So, it, again, you have to be accurate about what you speak. Overall, human rights in Iran is worse. Overall, executions on blasphemy in Iran is higher, but blasphemy cases in Pakistan are higher than blasphemy cases in Iran. So you have to be mindful about how what you're uh, pointing out here and be careful in your language, right? But well, also, yeah, go on. let's be clear, in Iran, the chances of you being lynched or murdered by a mob for blasphemy are infinitesimal in comparison to Pakistan. Like... You said it, say it again? 
in Iran, you're not, it, it's very unlikely that you'll be lynched by a mob for this kind of thing versus Pakistan. Like, it's like, who's going to come after you, the government or the people? It's a different dynamic. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so the situation in Pakistan, the, the threat is mostly from the people, not from the government. Uh, look how low-level Pakistani, um, Pakistan Defense Forces uh, arguments are, right? This And this guy claims to be smart and intellectual, right? And this is his response. Susanna, stop trying to be a white savior of us Pakistani atheists. Um, I will tell you that Susanna is a lot better for Pakistan than you ever would be, Pakistani Defense Force. Oh, Susanna, damn. No, Susanna, Susanna is better for Pakistan than you would ever be. You are a cost of Pakistan. You are somebody who is harming Pakistan because for Pakistan to be better, it has to acknowledge its weaknesses. Like, for example, you keep on coming and trying to act like, oh, Armin, you're saying bad things about Pakistan, but Iran this and this and this. And you think, like, I would be, like, defensive over Iran. And I'm like, dude, I would admit those problems with Iran. I will actually tell you more problems with Iran. You think, like, me as an Iranian, because I'm Iranian, I would try to hide Iran's problems. But I am not tribal like you are i don't i i'm not so emotional hold on i'm not so emotionally invested into a national identity and that's why the activism i do might actually be somewhat helpful to making iran a little bit better um but your activism the way you treat pakistan is harmful to pakistan because you are somebody who denies the problems with pakistan has tried to hide it under a rock so yes yeah, susanna is a positive force for pakistan and you are a negative force for pakistan Go on, Susanna. Okay, I just thought that was funny because you're like, you think that, you know, talking about the problems with Iran is going to trigger me? Because <laughs> inside, I was thinking, shitting on Iran is actually my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, right. joke's on you. This is my strength. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just tapped into my greatest resource. <laughs> Uh, also, he, oh here's God. oxymoron, which is interesting. Like, finally, a, loo uh, a loophole to exploit. Do you think this will help, like, for some people to be like, hey, I was just talking about what I was saw in the dream. But the thing is that a lot of people are like, oh, the main, again, the main threat is not the court system in Pakistan, okay? Um, you actually, if you come out with something that is seen as blasphemous in Pakistan, it, in many cases, you probably want to get arrested. You know, we have seen many, of many cases where getting arrested by the government might have worked in your favor because people were after you to kill you. And prison was actually the safest place for you. So this is not like, oh, my, like, as much as I do wish we could spin this as good news, we're like, oh, people, they're going to go less strict on people. I'm wondering, like, you know, if people in Pakistan are offended by you expo like telling a dream, these people, like in Pakistan, if you mentioned that you had dreamt and you met Allah, um, you still have to be worried because people, this will offend a whole bunch of people. Um, was this guy like mentally ill or something that this shared this dream? Like, why would you share this it dream? It's entirely anyway? clear, but there was a slight reference to that in the court's decision where they basically said like, if this person is found to be mentally incompetent, like you can't hold this against them. So there was some sort of like vague implication that maybe he wasn't completely right. Um, in the, in the mind, so to speak. Um, but it wasn't like said in a way where it's like, Oh, this man is disturbed. Yeah. Um, so it's not entirely clear when it comes to that. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.